we come, the three of us usually, <laughs> come every Wednesday morning from 10 to 11. Mary Lou Rohrbaugh, Ed Hamburger, and Karen Healy volunteer at Nixon Park in York County. Their mission, count birds for Project Feeder Watch. We have a goldfinch. Project Feeder Watch is a citizen science program, which means anyone can participate in collecting data that scientists can view. And what this project hopes to find out is the abundance and distribution of birds all across North America in the winter. We start mid-November and we go to the first week of April. Feeder watchers watch with their eyes, binoculars, or cameras. It's as good as a pair of binoculars and I can take a picture while I'm actually looking at something. Observations get entered in a logbook to be uploaded to the Cornell Center for Ornithology. And that goes into a huge data collection from hundreds of people that are observing birds across North America and it helps scientists be able to see big trends in bird populations, either increasing or decreasing or changing distributions over time. There are rules to follow. For example, if we see one red belly woodpecker and it flies away and later one comes back, we can't record that we've seen two. We can only re record that we've seen one unless they were both there together at the same time. So that way it's a, um, Cornell is ensuring that we don't overcount. Cornell also asks that volunteers not try to tell black-capped chickadees and Carolina chickadees apart. I have no idea which these are. The black caps are really larger than the Carolinas, but you see them flitting in and out of here and they go so fast you hardly have a chance to look at them. But for these three, Feeder Watch isn't just about getting together to watch birds. A lot of time it's a more of the conversation and just the watching part. Trading a few war stories. <laughs> Little birds up at a high point. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, yeah, they. And tall tales. Yeah. One day I counted, tried to count a helicopter that came by, but they wouldn't allow that. <laughs> and news from the home front. It's a juvenile red-shouldered hawk <laughs> on top of my feeder pole. While the Nixon Park Feeder Watch offers a chance to watch multiple feeders, learn about birds, and spend quality time with friends, you can take part in the program just about anywhere. You can do it from your church, from your school, from your house, anywhere that has anything that's attracting birds. It could be a bird feeder or it could just be a bird bath. It could be bushes that have berries on it. You can observe that for 15 minutes a week and submit your own data from wherever you are.